Hello, this recording is a demo of the updated experience for self-service authorization capabilities available in your AWS Marketplace Management Console. This new functionality allows you as an ISV to issue CPPO authorizations directly to your consulting partners, no forms necessary. If you have any questions regarding this new channel resource, please reach out to your channel manager or email us at aws-mp-channel at amazon.com. I'll now be handing it over to our product manager, Chris Bandico, who will go through a demo of this new feature. Chris? Thank you. To start with, log in to your AWS Marketplace Management Portal. And here I'll be demoing the new functionality in the Partner tab that we just launched. And you can, for more information, you can check out our technical documentation or our blog post. To get started authorizing a new channel partner to resell your products, click on the Partners tab and you'll be redirected to see where you have resell opportunities. This is this table is a list of all of the authorizations that you have granted to resellers and the status of those authorizations. To create a new resell opportunity, click Create Opportunity. And in here, fill out the form. So for me, I'm going to put in the opportunity name and a short description. And one note about the opportunity name and description, this information will actually flow through to your seller reports. So when you see a transaction using this opportunity, the name and description will show up in your reports. After I put in the name and description, I'll move to the duration. I can set a an open-ended authorization for a partner to continue to resell. Um, I can specify a specific time duration, so setting this for, let's say, a year, or I can authorize a single use for a channel partner to create a CPPO offer for a buyer. So for this example, I'm going to use the single use option and set the end date to create a private offer at the end of the month. From here, I pick the reseller or resellers I want to authorize. And so I can search by name or I can search by uh, specific, um, I can search by name or I can use the account ID if I have that instead. Um, next, I will select the product and the discount type. So I can do individual pricing where, for example, I can say I'm going to authorize the resale of my SaaS contract uh, Node.js product. And in here, I can put a custom price by dimension, or I can use the percentage discount option. So again, selecting that same product, I can say I'm actually just going to offer a 20% discount off of the public price. And that's what's going to create the wholesale price for the consulting partner. From here, I can also specify which buyers that this is this particular opportunity is targeted to. So I put in a buyer account number, and it's validating that it's a valid account, and I click add there. And I can add multiple account IDs if I want to authorize multiple buyers for the same discount percentage, or I can leave this blank and the opportunity is available for all buyers, for the channel to resell to all buyers. At this point, I click review opportunity and I can see the all the inputs I put into the form and make sure that they're correct. So I'm doing a single use to be used by the end of October and this my SaaS contract product at a 20% discount for the particular buyer. At this point, I click create opportunities and I am informed that that opportunity is created and I actually see that um, show up in the table and it is active. In this table, you can also take additional action. So I could deactivate a different authorization by clicking deact highlighting the radio button and then clicking deactivate and typing in deactivate the field. 
to make sure. And then I am informed that this has now been deactivated. And I can see that this is now expired and it just happened just now. You can also view the details of the opportunities you created. So this opportunity is the one I just created. Um, and you can clone that for easy, an easier way to create a new opportunity. Um, it's a copy and then you can manipulate the specific settings. So if you wanted to authorize another opportunity, but change the buyer, you could simply click clone. That way you don't have to put in all of the other fields again. This concludes the demo. Thank you, Chris. Again, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to the AWS Marketplace channel team for help.